Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to perform how to cut left hand 60 degrees external threads by the use of plate machine. The procedure is the same with what I perform in cutting right hand 60 degrees external threads except for two major setups which are exactly opposite to the setups for cutting right hand 60 degrees external threads. The first one is the position of the compound rest. To cut for a left hand 60 degrees external threads, the compound rest is positioned 29 degrees to the left. And the second one is the direction of feed movement of the carriage or the tool bit, which should cut the work from its left side end towards the right side end, while the workpiece is rotating counterclockwise for the main motion. This is the knob of the lathe machine for the direction of feed movement, which should be moved clockwise following the arrow on this plate. The other setups are now the same with the setups for cutting right hand 60 degrees external threads. I already mounted the workpiece with the required diameter. The tool bit is already set up 90 degrees to the axis of the work by the use of center gauge but take note the shape of the tool bit to be used is left hand V shape in which the side wake angle slopes from the top of its right side cutting edge downward towards the other side now if you want to know more about tool bit please find the link on the description box the split nut lever of the machine is already tested and the quick change gearbox is already set up for the required piece of thread which is 8 threads per inch. Now let's start to cut the work with left hand 60 degrees external threads. Switch on the power of the machine. I will set the speed which is 4 times slower than the speed for ordinary turning operation. Yeah. Now I will bring the tool bit on the starting position which is on the left side end of the work. Okay. The path you cross is light handed is in 3 o'clock position. Then I will set the cross is light graduated color into zero since the remaining steps in cutting left hand 60 degrees external threads are the same with what I performed in cutting right hand 60 degrees external threads I will just perform these steps continuously without further explanation but if you want to know more about it you may find the link in the description box So, the direction of feed movement starts from the left side end of the work towards the right side end. Let's check the pitch of the thread. Correct, 8 threads per inch. I will use forward reverse method in threading. Zero. Feed. And forward.
Okay, let's have a final cut. Now let's test the workpiece by the use of a master nut. Okay, very smooth. So that's how a left hand 60 degrees external threads is cut by the use of late machine. Now let's have a Q&A portion. Prof. Jenny, how may a right hand thread be distinguished from a left hand thread? Both right hand and left hand threads have a helical ridge of uniform cross section. But take a look on these two threaded parts. This is a right hand thread ball. Its mating part, which is called a nap, is engaged by rotating in a clockwise direction. Yeah. While a left hand thread nap is engaged with the ball by rotating in a counterclockwise direction. Yeah. Another is when a thread is held in a horizontal position with its axis pointing from left to right, a right hand thread will slope down and to the right, while a left hand thread will slope down and to the left. And when a right hand thread is cut on a lathe, the tool bit advances from right to left. And when a left hand thread is cut on a lathe, the tool bit advances from left to right. And this is what I performed today. Thank you very much. Please wait for my next tutorial video. I'll be demonstrating how to cut multiple threads.